Hey guys, Kara here with Kinsley's Creative Palette. Um, I'm coming to you live this afternoon. Short video. Uh, I was going to show you how to paint some sunflowers. So first off, before I flip the camera, let me show you my colors. I have black. I have um, cadmium yellow. This is kind of a bright yellow. I have a gold, which this one is called antique gold. You could also use like king's gold. Um, you could use a true sunflower color too. Um, I also, let me show you these. These are my leaf colors. So I have light avocado and olive green. And then I think the last color, um, and there's another like, um, what color was this? This was the light avocado. This is called olive, which this is way different than this olive green. So anyway, you need a dark and a light. They work together. And the last color we're going to use is burnt orange. So these are our colors. There's six of them. Um, and I'm going to show you my brushes real quick. Let me get them out of the water. Oops, sorry. Okay, so I've got this brush, which let me show you against my finger. It's a little bit bigger than my finger. It does not have a number. Oh, actually it is. It's a five eighths. So five eighths of an inch, and this is an angled brush. Then I also have this brush, which this one you um, don't have to be real picky about. It just needs to have bristles that will, um, oh, I don't know, kind of separate. Let me show you this. Okay, so this brush, you can see how those bristles kind of come apart. This is a brush I don't use really for anything else. Um, but there's also this brush, which I have, which the bristles are just a little bit messed up. So either one of these would work. And then I think, um, oh, the only other brush that I used, and you could get away without using this, was a really thin brush. So something really small. You just, this is just to make really thin stems. So let me turn my camera around and see if I can show you what I'm doing. Now I realize this angle isn't the best, but um, it's all I have at the moment. So we'll just have to make do. Hey from Minnesota. Hi Carrie. Welcome. I am loading my palette. You can see this is a very well used paper plate um, with all of my paint colors. I'm going to move to a side that I know is all the way dry. So I've got dark green and light green. And again, I'll tell you these colors as I squirt them out. And if you missed it, you can also go back to the beginning of the video. So this is um, an olive green by DecoArt, and this is a light avocado by DecoArt. So you need a light and a dark. Then I have a burnt orange. This is also by DecoArt. And where I'm placing my paint is really important today. So um, that was my burnt orange. Then I have just ebony black. This is another DecoArt. And I'm placing the black right next to the orange, and I place the two greens right next to each other. And then the next two colors, or the last two, I should say, this one has a lot of blending, which is why there's so many colors that are similar. I've got a kind of a gold color. This one's called Antique Gold. And the last one is Cadmium, if I hopefully I said that right, yellow. Let me get a little bit more of that than I did the rest of the colors. So, it's hard to see, but I've got those six colors on my palette, and this is what we're making, just in case anyone just jumped on. We're doing sunflowers, like this, but I'm going to actually do the next one over here so you can see it. Now, we start with our leaves, so I'm going to take my angled brush, which is, this is the 5 8 These are the four brushes that I'm going to use. Actually, I'm only going to use three. I'm going to use one of these, and then I'm going to use these two. So these two have like scruffy bristles, and then I've got one 5 8 angled brush and then one thin brush. Really small. All right, so I'm going to start with this scruffy brush, and it's not all the way dry, so I'm getting some of my wet off of there. 
I'm gonna get or burnt orange. Oh, I just said I was starting with the, the leaves and then I went into the burnt orange. Okay, so my angled brush, sorry about that. And I'm going to get more of my dark. I'm gonna use the toe and the heel of my brush. So I'm putting two colors on. And hopefully y'all can see this. I'm gonna make kinda like a, a V shape with my two colors real quick, just so I have my V. And I'm gonna make just a just a line. And this is gonna be the line that my um, leaf is gonna travel on. So let me get more paint on my brush. And I'm going to kinda um, push down and twist. And then when I get to the bottom, I'm gonna turn my brush. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna fill in that middle. And let me show y'all up close what that looks like. Okay, so that's what that first one looks like. And I actually wanna exaggerate these sides a little bit. So I'm gonna bring those edges just a little bit to more of a curve before I move on. Okay, so that's one side of the leaf. Now I'm gonna dip my brush the same way into my um, paint and I'm gonna do the other side, which I have to turn to be able to push down like that. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. So I made five. You didn't have to make five. You could make as many as you wanted. And I just followed that, that line. So that's my first um, leaf and I'm gonna make one more. And I apologize guys, I have a trimmer, so I shake. So if you see me doing that, it's um, not that I'm nervous, it's that I just have a trimmer. So I didn't make my V on this one. I did that for y'all's benefit on the first one. And I'm gonna twist. And I'm gonna get some more paint and I'm gonna do this again. And this time I'm gonna turn like this and get some more paint and I'm going to see there's my V you can see my V right there okay so then I'm gonna do hey Wendy welcome I'm gonna do this and then we turn and we twist our brush so we really when you're doing this you really want to utilize that angle that's on the bottom or on the tip of your brush. And you'll see that more when we make the petals for the flowers. Okay, so I'm gonna leave these two leaves just like that. Then I'm gonna make just a couple more. Now I'm gonna take, I'm dipping in both of my greens and I'm gonna go back and forth on my paint palette just to remove some of the paint off. And then I'm going to, at an angle, come in and I'm gonna turn. You see how I, I lay my brush down at an angle? Let me get some more paint. I'm gonna lay it down at an angle. I'm gonna push down, then I'm gonna turn and lift up. Let me show you what those look like up close. Okay, so those are my leaves. And you can make several of those. I made three over here. I could do more over here. But for now, I'm gonna leave those. So I used my angle brush for that. Now I'm gonna rinse it out, and um, to dry your brush really quickly so you can go right back to using it again, I'm gonna show you what I use. I use just these microfiber towels, and you can even get them at Harbor Freight with a free coupon. Um, but this is how I get my brush really dry really quick. So now my brush is reshaped, dry, and ready to use. Okay, we're gonna use this again in a minute, but for now, we're gonna pick up that brush that I told you was your squishy, kind of brush, the one that your bristles spread apart a lot. And you're gonna load, hey Jennifer, welcome. You're gonna load the front with the burnt orange and you're gonna load the back with black. Now when we do this, we're gonna make, it's hard to see right here, but we're gonna make this type of a pattern. It's almost like you're making, um, Oh gosh, I don't know, like a circle with the center. So maybe something kind of like a donut. So 
you're going to just dab, keep your brush going the same way, and we're just dabbing. And I'm just going to keep dabbing until I get that all full. Now you can go back the other direction, but just make sure your brush is still laying the same way. I'm going to get more paint on my brush. Go in and do the same thing. You're just going to keep going around until you have a nice round shape that looks like it has a hole in the center. And that just is dimensionally. You're not really going to have a hole in the center. I just went back and added some paint to the middle where it was still... Um, oh, hey, I'm glad Paisley's watching. Hey, Carla from Odessa. That's where my stepdad's from, is Odessa. Um, this is rest time for you and Paisley. That's what I want. I want some rest time. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take... I'm going to get... I'm actually going to grab um, a different brush real quick. And I'm going to use the back of my paintbrush. And I'm just going to put some dots going around... And you can use any of your paintbrush ends for this. But I'm going to put some dots going around the, um, the what would you call it, the middle of my sunflower in orange. Now these dots are thicker because I'm using the end of my brush and I'm just setting paint down on there. Hey Des, welcome. Okay, so this is where we're at. Let me show you. Put that brush up. Okay, so this is what we've done so far. All right. <laughs> You're in the parent pickup line. Ah, it's called a bus, Des. It's called a bus. Okay, so I've got my yellow paint, and I'm going to do the same thing that I did with my brush in these two situations where I put one color on one side and one color on the other. I'm going to dip more into the bright yellow, and then with the heel of my brush, I'm in the other yellow. So the gold. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come around. I'm going to come to these last because I want some of that green to dry. So maybe we don't get it all over our sunflowers. So for me, it's easier to do this if I flip my canvas around. In this case, it is a mixed media pad, which if you don't have one, I can send you a link um, to my Amazon store where they have them and they're super cheap. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to... And I reload my brush just about every time. I lay my brush right at the base of that flower that I created, the middle. And then I drag out and I twist and lift up. Okay? So that's what you're going to do going all the way around. And thank you to everyone who's watching. Leave me a comment and let me know where you're from. Okay, so drag down and twist and lift up. Now that one is a little bit short for me, so I'm gonna go back in, and I wanna show you why I put that orange at the base of my flower. All right, so right here, and I realize the light's not stellar, but right around here, just around the outside, I put those big glob, those big dots of orange, so that whenever I'm making my leaves, it actually pulls in some of that orange, so that it, it has, orange, yellow, and gold in there. But I'm not having to load my paintbrush with three different colors. Hey Terry from East Texas, welcome. Okay, so we're just gonna keep going around. So push down, pull, and lift up. You can go back in if one of those gets a little bit wonky and you can redo it. Hello, Christina from Hopewell, Ohio. Your kids must go to kid, go to school with my kids. Hey, LaDonna from Tennessee. All right. Um, drag, turn, lift up. We're going to go around. Now, you see I'm, I'm leaving some little gaps, but there's a reason for that. Hey, Anna, welcome. So, drag, turn, lift up. And I'm just going to keep spinning because it's easier for me to go this direction. Drag, turn, and lift up. We're just gonna do that all the way around. Drag, turn, and lift up. Oh. I 
I keep saying it so you'll remember. Drag, turn, and lift up. All right, this is the last one on this go round, and then we're going to start on the next set of petals. Drag, turn, lift up. Okay, so this is the start. You see the base petals. And if you look, there's petals in between all of those on this fuller sunflower. So that's what we're going to do now. Oh, Christina, yours are all graduated. That's awesome. All right, I'm not rinsing this brush. I'm going to wipe the paint out of it. It's mostly yellow, but I want to go brighter for that next coat. So the next one I'm going to dip in orange or in the yellow but with just barely any um just barely any of the gold paint on the end oh anna that's awesome thank you for watching in carpool line seems like we have quite a few in carpool line this afternoon okay i'm going to go back to where i started just over here and we are going to drag pull lift up Pull, drag, drag, pull. I guess it's about the same. Do the same thing right here. Turn and lift up. Went too quick on that one. Okay, we're just gonna go all the way around. Now, if it gets to be too uniform in color, you can always add other colors in, but this is how it looks right now. And I, I'll tell you that if you're like me, you tend to be critical at, as you're painting and then you come back later and you're like, oh my gosh, that looks so much better than I thought it did. Because when the paint's all dry, it just, it looks a little bit different. I don't know. It almost looks like it has more dimension. Okay. Drag, pull, and lift up. We are almost done. Can you believe it? How long has this video been? I'm wondering. Wondering how long it takes to paint a sunflower. All right, we got one more petal. Okay, so there is our sunflower almost done. I'm gonna throw this brush in the water. I'm gonna grab this brush again. This was, um, oh, actually, I'm gonna grab the one I used, the squishy brush with the messed up um, bristles. Okay, so now we're gonna go back into, we're gonna kind of redo this middle, but we're just gonna kind of touch it up since we lost some of those colors along the way. So let me get the water out of there. I'm gonna go back into the orange with just a little bit of black on the end. I'm gonna blow dry just a little bit. And by blow drying, I mean right here with my mouth. All right, so. Then we're just going to come in and we're going to dab all the way around. Now, when I'm doing that this time, because my bristles are getting in that wet yellow, they actually give us more of a contrast right here. So it actually helps us bring in um, kind of a lighter color to give it some more dimension. So I'm going to have to work for just a second because these were still really wet. Let me get this off my brush real quick. I think I turned it in the wrong direction. So orange, the little black on the end. This was still really wet, so I had to go back and go over it a little bit more. All right. So friends, this is how easy it is to make a sunflower. Thank y'all for hanging with me this afternoon. Um, your little bitty brush, you can use at this point if you have um, if you have stems you need to connect. So like right here, I could connect that and, and make it a stem. And then right here, I could go in and add veins to these leaves. So other than that, that's it. All right, friends, I will talk to y'all later. I hope that you enjoyed that. This was our finished product, our sunflower. And you could connect right here. I haven't done that. But this is how you paint a sunflower. Thank you, Carrie. If you uh, missed it, just go back to the beginning and I will post the video so that you can watch it at your leisure. Y'all have a great day. Bye, guys.